What's going on, BB gang? Welcome back to the channel. All things strange. It's your man, Dr. Strange. Back in action. Asking, are we stacking or slacking? What do we got on the menu? Let's check it out here. We got the first appearance of Eternity. It's going to be Strange Tales 138. Coming. BB. Tuesday. Is tomorrow we had a comic drop today they're back at it man so you know i'm back at it and we gotta dig in check out some value see what the vb fam is talking about you know what i'm saying here on twitter We're gonna check out some cgc go collect whatever we could dig up get some background information on eternity of course you know what i'm saying and figure out are we gonna stack or slack on Strange Tales 138, so let's dig in. All right, so here we are on VB's Twitter. As you guys, guys can see, the first appearance of Eternity, Doctor Strange meets the living embodiment of Eternity in his first mystic adventures. Very interesting, man. So we're gonna get uh, exclusive rare and ultra rare covers by Nicoletta Baldar. You know what I'm saying? So that's something to check out for sure. We've got the VV fam in the house. John G, of course. You know what I'm saying? And you know how we do, man. We like to just see what the sentiment of the community is. You know what I'm saying? And if we can, possibly get some go collect information. See what we got, man. Okay, we got Ralph Vanderbecken dropping the go collect info here for the fam so as you guys can see go collect has this book at a 9.6 coming in at six thousand two hundred and fifty dollars it's pretty dang good because you know a 9.8 which we can't see would obviously go for more than that you know probably good 30 to 40 percent more so maybe we would see it come in somewhere around ten thousand you know what i'm saying i'm not sure but that's what we're here for. We're going to dig in a little bit and see what we find, especially when we hit eBay. All right, so here we are. Checking out Strange Tales number 138. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know how we do. Let's see what the breakdown tells us here. The first appearance of Eternity, Dr. Strange meets the living embodiment of Eternity and his mystic adventures. Plus, failing to disable Hydra's Betatron bomb, S.H.I.E.L.D. calls in the assistance of none other than Tony Stark. Stark knows weapons, but does he know Hydra? Ooh, okay, so, looks like we got a little bit of multi-action going on here, and, you know, we're going to hop into these covers in a second, but as you can see on the cover here, we got Nick Fury. Looks like he's about to get his chest blown out. It's a lot of bullets going his direction, so I don't know what's going to happen there. But we got the drop date, of course, November 29th. Tomorrow coming out $6.99. This was published in 1965. We have five cover variants, 10,000 total editions. So we're back to 10K drops, guys. And we have the common classic cover. 6,000 editions, uncommon, vintage variant, 2,250 editions, we have the rare, hero variant, 1,000 editions, the ultra rare, vibranium variant, 500 editions, the secret rare, true believer variant, 250 editions, guys, so let us take a look at the covers and see what we got. You know, so this right here is going to be our common. Zoom in a bit. Like I was trying to tell y'all, I have no idea how Nick Fury's chest is going to withstand all of these bullets going his way. But I don't know. Maybe it's something like, I don't know. Maybe he got some bulletproof action going on here because I see a bullet flying up there. I mean, I don't think they got Stormtrooper aim. So maybe he got some sort of ill suit. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes the good guys lose. 
Sheesh. It's funny, man, from the, you know, this cover, you would never know you're gonna get eternity. You would barely even know Doctor Strange is in here other than, you know, what we got up here in the corner. But yeah, it's a common. I'm digging it. You guys know me, sucker, for old art, old books, all this stuff. So you combine that with the FA, and I'm pretty much, uh, I'm down. So let's check out the uncommon. You know, as usual, no saturation color wise, uh, with the majority of it other than Nick Fury here. Not really my cup of tea. You know what I'm saying? I actually wish they would have sprinkled a little color in maybe to like their heads or something it kind of needs something you know what i'm saying it's a little too like barren wasteland popping off over here so let's check out our rare exclusive cover here and like it says it's going to be nicoletta baldari and here we go i like it definitely feels like okay eternity got it you know um i'm not sure how having it fully colorized is gonna look you know what i'm saying let's check it out though and see you know this is this is dope though this feels like yeah that's eternity bro you know let's see if the colors actually do something and i think they do man i like this ultra rare i definitely like it the colors add that extra you know to it you know go back to the rare here so we got the gold on the edges here all of that you know it's it's, it's a great job man definitely gives me the vibes i need you know and let's check out the secret rare here and this right here is definitely the original depiction of eternity i would have to say this is my favorite because you know you got you know just the way it looks it's that vintage art you know you got planets and you know what i'm saying it just looks serious like i like it man this right here is this might be one of my favorite secret rares on the app like this this might be pretty hot for me because you know the way the colors match just everything is just man vintage fire you know what i'm saying so actually before we move into values and prices and all that good stuff man let's do a little background into exactly who eternity is you know what i'm saying in regard to um you know marvel and uh you know just just his background because this character has been around for over like 50 years man it's had different uh iterations and things so um i want to see what this character is all about you know what i'm saying so let's dig into that a little bit all right so let's get into a little background info into eternity um so eternity is a fictional cosmic entity appearing in Obviously, Marvel, created by script editor Stan Lee and artist plotter Steve Ditko. Character is first mentioned in Strange Tales number 134, a couple of issues before ours, and first appears in Strange Tales 138. Um, what else we got? Well, also says that, um, as we know, Eternity also appeared in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and that was in Thor Love and Thunder, which came out this year, 2022. Um, definitely cracked the door open with that, and I'm still wondering why they did that. Um, I think they are going to give us some more Eternity, you know, especially with the way that the Doctor Strange movie ended definitely feels like they're gonna go cosmic and multi-dimensional um, in the next steps and in the next phase so a um, little bit about eternity here so it says eternity along with his sister infinity were born with the Big Bang 
and they represent the multiverse in its current iteration. Before eternity, there was a single universe whose animating force was the primal cosmic being that would later call itself the first firmament. The first firmament was attacked by its creations, the Celestials. During the catastrophic cosmic war that erupted between them and their counterpart creations, the Aspirants, the climax of that war resulted in the Celestials' weapons tearing the first universe apart. The core essence of the first firmament and the surviving aspirants desperately fled to the void outside creation. The torn fragments of the uh, sundered first universe then coalesced into a new being that was made up of hundreds of universes, the second cosmos, which was the first multiverse. Creation would then evolve, die, and be reborn six more times, each time evolving and changing to add new realities, forces, and properties to itself, and all these changes would be reflected in the corresponding birth of eternity. After the destruction of the multiverse by the incursions and its rebirth at the hands of Reed Richards, Franklin Richards, and Molecule Man, eternity in its eighth incarnation. The first recorded human contact with eternity is by Dr. Strange, who seeks the entity out when his master, the Ancient One, is attacked by former pupil, Baron Morta. So, there's a little background on eternity. You know, um, definitely a powerful being. And so, let's dive in uh, and check out some more info on this book alright gang so here we are we done made our way to eBay and off the rip here is definitely a lot of variables in regard to um, the CGC grades here on these so the prices are all over the place um, so I'm going to hit the sore button and just go right to highest price Let's see what we got here. We got one autograph going for almost four grand. Uh, this one here is a 9.4 going for roughly 2,000. Okay, so that gives us a little bit of an idea what's going on there. You know, and it's, it's only going to go down from here, obviously. So we have a 9.2 for roughly a thousand. Have a 8.0 for 625. Got an 8.5 for 550. Save yourself some money there. And the shipping is cheaper. Another 8.5 for 530. Another 8.5 for 500. Another 8.5 for 485. So we got an idea as far as what these are coming in at money wise you know we don't have any 9.6s for sale definitely don't see any 9.8s so um you know this is pretty much an alignment you know and this person was trying to sell this auto one for five thousand but they took a thousand off pretty much but this is in alignment with ghost relax what we saw earlier you know what i'm saying um i guess the question is Am I stacking or slacking? Man, this is a very tough one here. But then again, it's kind of not. You know what I'm saying? We know the mint mint size is 10,000 copies, right? So we had a drop today, you know, where comic wasn't all that significant. Wasn't even Marvel. But it was like 8,700 editions. So, you know, and that's still way below retail you know so i don't know you know going for this on the drop is a little tricky right now you know because you could see the exclusive covers the rare and the ultra rare end up in the ultra you know in the aftermarket for retail for the rare maybe 6.99 7 8 you know what i'm saying and the ultra rare could be around 12 bucks 13 14 you know it, it could easily go down like that and if that's the case there's no need for me to stack on the actual drop you know what i'm saying 
Um, in the aftermarket, if this book hovers around two dollars, three dollars, you know, I could definitely see myself grabbing some because I don't know what it is. I'm just a firm believer that at some point, um, all these items that we see going for below retail will at least climb back to their retail price. And in some cases, that's a lot of profit margin alone. You know what I'm saying? And I'm cool with that. So if I'm grabbing a book at $2.250 and the retail is $6.99, I mean, that, that, I don't know what more I could really ask for as far as um, my ROI, you know? So I would be pretty happy with that. So for now, you know, that's what I'm doing with these books. Um, pretty much stacking in the aftermarket, especially uh, first appearances like this one. Um, and trying to weed through and navigate through all the books that we have. It's, it's a lot, you know. Sometimes I forget, oh, there was a rare I wanted in this or ultra rare or that I really wanted. And it's like certain books just stare you in the face. You're like, oh, let me grab this, you know, and then throw your money off. You're like, oh, man, I could have got this instead. And then, uh, like, so I'm trying to get a little better with, um, you know, maybe making a list, sticking to it, you know, of um, other uh, rarities and additions of certain books we've gotten already, you know, because to be honest, guys, it's going to be hard to top what we have already as far as comics. You know what I'm saying? There are at least 10 grails and keys left, but the problem with that with, with like us getting them now is I know that those are drops. Vivi is waiting for when they have like MCP rolled out, you know, and stuff like that. You know, we're going to get like, you know, I don't want to say AF-15 level stuff, you know what I'm saying? AF-15 is what it is, but um, you know, all those when you pull up what are the top grails or top keys, top tens um, yeah, first appearance Galactus, first appearance Wolverine, you know, first appearance Punisher. We still got little bit you know what i'm saying a little ways to go you know and there's still a lot of like offshoot books that people aren't necessarily worrying about but they're like cult classics revered by you know a lot of fans you got um contests of champions a book i would love to see is like this um dc and marvel universe crossover that came out it had like robin on it. it's a green cover and it has like phoenix robin it literally has like the best characters from both sides you know what i'm saying um i love those contests of champions i love um marvel universe a through z i love those books you know um it's a lot out there that may not be you know hundreds of thousands of dollars but you know when you talk about collecting and people wanting them they're, they're definitely uh, high ranking you know so We'll see what we get, man. I don't want to take up too much of you guys' time, man. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Oh, if you enjoy the content, give me a like. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe. You know what I'm saying? And let me know what you're doing in the, in the comments. Are you stacking or slacking? Personally, I'm going to be slacking on this drop, man. So, until next time. Doctor Strange, all things strange, out.